Yo guys, what is going on? JPS back with another video, and today we're going to be reacting to how to have a British Christmas. Now, after reacting to the British advertisements, which was amazing, a lot of just very emotional ads, we're going to have to check out more in the future. Some of you were telling me like to check out some of the British Christmas traditions, which seem to differ from American Christmas traditions. So here we are with Anglophenia. I've reacted to this, I don't know if that's the name of the YouTuber, I forgot, but um, I've reacted to one of her videos before about dialects and stuff, and it seemed to be pretty accurate. A lot of you guys liked it, so let me know if these traditions are accurate, but I'm going to be comparing them to what my family does and what I know is American uh, Christmas tradition. But yeah, Christmas is a national holiday, and it's definitely observed as that in America. A lot of families do it, even those who aren't you know, crazy religious, it's still kind of one of those just national traditions that most people participate in i mean besides for people who are of other religions but if you're new here hit the like button hit subscribe check out the patreon link in description i've been posting a bunch of videos on there but yeah let's get it burning letters to father christmas setting off explosives at the dinner table these may seem crazy to you but Wait, they're what? perfectly <laughs> normal behavior at a british christmas or as we sometimes call it crimbo here are 10 christmas traditions that never made it to america <laughs> letters to Father Christmas. In America, kids write letters to Santa and put them in the mailbox. Yep. But in England, we toss them straight in the fire. To hell. We're not trying to make children <laughs> cry. Burning the letters sends them directly to the North Pole, where Santa can read your Christmas wishes in the smoke. Yes, it may seem a little weird, but it does save on postage. It's a little weird. But Hanging true. stockings. American children traditionally hang stockings around the fireplace for Santa to fill with presents. But in the UK, we hang stockings around the bed. Being surrounded by presents is a great way to wake up on Christmas morning. And a great way to let Father Christmas, a total stranger who's been watching you all year, get really close to your sleeping body. So Alright, <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> so it's Father Christmas rather than Santa, is what I'm getting. All right, that fair, fair. Stranger who's been That's not too bad. Year, get really close to your sleeping body. <laughs> Sweet dreams. Also, instead of leaving out milk and cookies for Father Christmas, we leave <laughs> him brandy and a mince pie because he is a grown-up. <laughs> Christmas crackers. A cracker may not seem like the most festive thing to serve on Christmas dinner, but these are not the type of crackers that you put cheese on. A Christmas cracker is a brightly decorated cardboard tube what? filled with fun prizes. When grabbed and pulled apart, a tiny explosive inside makes a loud cracking noise, hence the name. Inside the cracker is usually a cheesy plastic prize, a paper crown, and a terrible joke. Why are ghosts so bad at lying? Because you can see right through them. <laughs> That's so, so bad. Sorry. That's so bad. Christmas hats. <laughs> what I love. Inside the Christmas cracker are colorful paper hats that it is absolutely mandatory to wear. In fact, 90% of Christmas arguments stem from trying to make your grumpiest relative put their paper crown on. Is that the true? 10% comes from playing Monopoly because there are some Christmas traditions that we share, unfortunately. Whoa. Christmas dinner. A British Christmas dinner is just as big a feast as an American one. The main dish is usually roast turkey, often surrounded by bacon-wrapped chipolatas, which are mini pork sausages. Bacon-wrapped miniature pork sausages. Now, that's a tradition that you Americans should get behind. We serve All right, with roast that's up. and veggies. Tradition we know the obesity rates are through the roof. You don't have to say it. Stop. <laughs> tradition that you Americans should get behind. We uh, serve the turkey with roast potatoes and veggies, traditionally Brussels sprouts, which are gross, but it's tradition, so we eat them anyway. We have gravy to fair. smother everything in, and something called bread sauce, which isn't a sauce to put on bread, but a sauce that's thickened with bread, which looks a little lumpy, but tastes delicious. Then we eat until we can't move, and watch telly until we pass out. Sound familiar? That Christmas sounds like, pudding. honestly, that sounds like Thanksgiving dinner. Christmas dinner for my family is not a big deal at all, but for others it is. So we can't move. that's we'll just me. Until we pass out. Sound familiar? <laughs> Christmas pudding. Americans love to have their pumpkin and pecan pies for Christmas dessert, but in the UK that's for we have Christmas pudding. This is a very dense boiled cake flavored with dried fruit and spices. It's then soaked uh. in alcohol, aged for several months. Boiled again, oh. soaked in alcohol again, and then set on fire. Come to a British Christmas, we soak everything in alcohol and then light it on fire. The royal is that true? Is that is it actually aged for months? Man, why is there so much alcohol? 
you Brits. everything in alcohol and then light it on fire. Glug, glug. The royal Nampai. Christmas message. <laughs> That's right. Every Christmas day, Her Majesty the Queen gives a holiday speech reflecting on the events of the past year. We all sit around pretending to pay attention but secretly carrying on with whatever it was we were doing before. Think of it as the state of the union but with much more gold. Boxing Day. Boxing Day is the day after Christmas Day. Its origins are debatable. Some say that it's a day when workers would receive a box of gifts from their bosses. Others say that it's a day when people would box up gifts for the poor. But the main thing that happens on Boxing Day nowadays is shopping. It's kind of like our Black Friday, only nobody gets trampled to death. <laughs> every That's year funny. around the Christmas halls, pretty much every theatre in the country puts on a pantomime. These are plays for kids, based on fairy tales such as Cinderella and Aladdin, involving a lot of high camp, cross-dressing and audience interaction. They're normally starring jaded celebrities, so if the idea of seeing David Hasselhoff in a dress excites you, you should definitely check one out. Taking down the Christmas tree. We Brits believe that the Christmas tree and decorations should be taken down within 12 days of Christmas, otherwise you'll have bad luck for the rest of the year. Hmm. This is maybe a tradition that Americans should consider adopting. I've certainly seen people keep their old, brown, dry, withered yeah. Christmas trees until almost the 4th of July. <laughs> Those are some of the major differences between British and American Christmases. Thanks for watching. Alright, yeah, that fact, or that statement at the end about... Americans keeping their Christmas trees up is so accurate now. It's June. So not really anymore But listen, I remember distinctly in like March and April Driving around and I look you know how you can see through people's houses. They got huge windows blah 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 I look through the window and people like even my neighbors Your Christmas tree still up. It's been four months. You had four months to take it down it just looks so trashy and I just don't understand how you can walk by it every day unless you just don't go into the living room. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's not going to be me and my family. I'm taking down the Christmas tree the day after Christmas. Probably not. Maybe two days after. But yeah, um, traditions, honestly, pretty similar. There are definitely some differences like the stockings by your bed is kind of weird, but at the same time, it's kind of weird to have them in, by the fireplace. Oh, because our belief is that Santa comes down the fireplace. Like, <laughs> there's so many um, the night before Christmas stories where Santa, like, he gets his reindeer, lands on your roof, and then plops his way down the chimney and sneaks around. I don't know. There's a lot of different interpretations of that. But anyways, um, I'm definitely looking forward to Christmas this year, though. I'm gonna give away some good gifts. Um, I'm kind of getting to that age where I don't really get. You guys know what it's like when you're a kid. You get so many gifts, and then the older you get, it turns into like. Cause now I'm a college kid. I'm gonna get like a razor. Where is it? I can't find. It. I'm gonna get like this <laughs> for Christmas. Like, oh, you're an adult now. You need a shave. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not like mad about that. I mean, it's it's fair, and I like giving more now, but. You know what I'm talking about. You get like a college survival kit. My grandma gave me a hammer. <laughs> not for my, not as a graduation gift. And I'm like, I appreciate it, but I guess I'll just use it as a self-defense weapon. No one messes with me in college because I got a hammer and these hands. No, I'm playing. But anyways, that was so cringy. Hit the like button, subscribe, recommend some more stuff in the comment section. Keep recommending stuff, guys. And let me know what your Christmas traditions are like and if they're anything like what she was describing in the video or if they're similar to mine. Um, I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Peace.